Hi, this is Rachel with Good Behavior Beginnings, and I wanted to talk about using pre-corrects and transition warnings. So you may be familiar with the term transition warning, and that is the idea that you are going to sort of do a countdown to when something is going to change in the environment or the expectations are going to change so that the learner has a chance to prepare. We often do this with our kids um, personally in our own lives, as well as maybe our learners. Okay, in five minutes, it's going to be time to go. Okay, two more minutes, and then we have to clean up the toys. All right, I'm going to count to 10, and then you need to put your dishes away, whatever it is. So those are examples of transition warnings. The idea is that you're going to mark time so that the individual has a chance to prepare for the upcoming change. Um, it's best if you have a couple of transition warnings and they're out by a little bit of time. Um, you know, the amount of time is going to vary depending upon the person. But if my kid's on the playground and I say, okay, you have three seconds and then we're going three, two, one, that's really not probably enough transition time for my learner when they're engaged in something as highly preferred as being on the playground. Instead, I might give a, in 10 minutes, we're gonna go home. All right, five more minutes and then we're done here at the playground. All right, this is the last minute, go down the slide one last time and then we're going. All right, now it's time to go. So giving a little bit of time so that the individual can sort of wrap up the activities that they're engaging in is very helpful. However, if it's not a, a big activity, like say they're watching a video on an iPad or on TV, then maybe you do just give a minute. You've got one minute left and then it's time to turn it off. 10 seconds, okay, now it's time to turn it off, right? So you do that countdown as appropriate both for the learner and for the activity. Pre-corrects are basically like a rule rehearsal prior to the opportunity to practice that rule. Now, we may also do these with young children before we go into a place. So for example, before I go into the store, I might tell my child, we are not getting candy today. We are only getting the things on my list, right? So I'm telling them the expectations ahead of time. We're just going in to try on shirts. We're not going to look at the stuffed animals or whatever it is, right? And so you're outlining those expectations. You might also see this in schools with like preschoolers or kindergartners who are learning how to behave in a school environment. At the beginning of the year, the teachers might say, okay, we're about to go into the hall. Remember, hands by your side, lips closed. Um, we're gonna walk, you know, two tiles to the right wall, something like that, right? They're gonna explain what the expectations are prior to going into the hall. It's called a pre-correct because the idea is that you are providing the information that would be a correction, except you're doing it before they've made the mistake. So it is not a correction because they haven't made an error yet. It's a pre-correct. You are reminding them of, of the rules, reminding them of the expectations before they have a chance to make that mistake. That way you don't get halfway down the hall or in the middle of the candy aisle and then have to tell them because now they're already engaged in the inappropriate behavior. Now, using pre-corrects and transition warnings together can be really helpful for transitions um, for individuals who struggle with transitions and are really just good practice so that there's no surprises. So I might say in five minutes, we're going to clean up the Legos and we're going to come to the table for math. Um, and then in two minutes, we're going to pick up our toys and we're going to come sit calmly at the table for math. Okay, now it's time to pick up the Legos and go quietly to the table for math. So I'm explaining the expectations of what's going to happen next and how I expect them to respond. And I'm also giving them a countdown so that they have a chance to 
hear it, <laughs> to um, prepare themselves, and maybe for learners who need that repetition in order to be successful, they've now heard the expectation a few times. So you can use transition warnings and pre-corrects together to help prepare your learner for an upcoming change and to let them know what to expect. The combination of those can help make the transition itself successful and help them to be successful as they move into the next activity. Let me know if you have other strategies for transitions. Thanks.